Hi, I'm Deborah Myberg, and I'm with Bernard Profond of Romoissonne, a very well-known uh, brand in Burgundy and a property that I actually had collected for years. Um, but you came from a different background, from Jadot into Romoissonne. Um, how does that transition feel, and what are the challenges for you? Well, Jadot was quite comfortable because Jadot is a, is, is a bigger company and I was, uh, I guess, well paid for not doing much. <laughs> Whereas at Remoisne, it's the, I, I ended up working much more. But what happened at Jadot is that Remoisne was still is the, the, uh, the neighbor of Jadot in the old town. And uh, 10 years ago, in, uh, in the fall of 2004, we heard that Remoisne was for sale. And we had these two friend collectors from New York, the Milstein brothers, and we told them Romasne was for sale and they, they flew their own plane and, and we tasted some wine and they said they would buy it. Well, it's, it's as well. a very, very interesting line, Romasne, and, and has a very old reputation. I know I've had many from the 30s and even the 20s, and, um, but it's had its ups and downs. So maybe share some insights how, in particularly in the last decade, it's, it's been quieter. A sleeping beauty. <laughs> so how do you rejuvenate a brand? Well, what happened, I think, Monsieur Moisne Roland uh, was born in 1930, and at that time, being a negotiant, you would have access to barrels from the top properties. But then, this, this uh, growers started to bottle their wine in the 1970s, 1980s, and Monsieur Moisne didn't want to, uh, he didn't want to buy grapes. Where, where, so how to uh, rejuvenate the company? We started uh, buying vineyards, uh, some Clos vineyards. We took over some. Champs-Champs-Martin Vignards, Bonne Premier Cru. So from two hectares 10 years ago, we are now farming 18 hectares. Uh, and, and everything that we sell uh, is, we, we make, we produce. We own the grapes or we buy the grapes or we rent the vineyard. But, uh, so that's the new Romoisne. But we love the old stories, of course. Yeah. Uh, so tell me some, about some of the key properties for you. What, what are some of the more interesting um, pieces because I know I've had some Fontenay mm. and last night coincidentally Mercury. Um, so I think the uh, Ramoisonne is often done well with lesser known or more sort of everyday drinking regions as well as the Grand Cru. It's interesting you say that because we feel we have a certain responsibility to be uh, at the image to follow on the same path as Monsieur Ramoisonne and we continued and we continue to produce some very good Côte Chalonnaise Mainly, uh, more than Merc mainly Givry white and red, mm -hmm. uh, which we we make in good quality because because they harvest by hand, and, and then they, the grapes go on the uh, sorting sorting machine and uh, fermentation in that, uh, and and we like this this lesser known wine. Then in we are in Bonne, and the historical vineyards of Romasne are Bonne Premier Cru. Uh, the Bonne Marconnet was definitely the trademark of Romasne. Since then, we increased, we bought more vineyards, some Bonne Premier Cru Les Terons, uh, five acres a couple of years ago. And then we got lucky to uh, take over some very exciting vineyards in the Côte de Nuit. And recently, recently, we, we've taken on, in terms of farming, a couple of vineyards in Meursault and Puligny. So it's very exciting. Well, I really look forward to drinking some Moissonnet into my future, uh, both my past bottles, and then to see what takes place under your leadership. So thank you so much. Thank you.